So hello everyone, it's a great pleasure to be here in Germany. Uh, my name is Professor Dolores Cahill and I've been speaking out uh, in Ireland for six months. But for in the last six months we've been building a network of linking countries, initially 12 countries. We're very happy to be involved with ISOFIA, which we have over 30 countries. And two or three months ago, we formed the World Doctors Alliance with Dr. Mohamed Adil. Uh, and then just um, on the 10th of October 2020, uh, more than 30 countries gathered together in Berlin with Dr. Heiko Schöning. And this weekend, just gone by, we gathered uh, with Manika Helleborg in Stockholm in Sweden. And we have now, together with over 30 countries, formed the World Freedom Alliance. And what we want to do is to coordinate and link activities that are going on all around the world in individual countries and in regions and worldwide initiatives and in regions and worldwide initiatives. And in the World Freedom Alliance, we will have a committee or pillar of doctors and scientists, but also of all of the lawyers in the world. So as you'll hear from Martin, we're working with lawyers, for example, working with Robert Kennedy and Rocco Gelati uh, in Canada, and also with Craig Kelly in Australia. He's working with the legal team. So what we want to do in specific issues is figure out which is the best legal country or jurisdiction to um, fight. For example, uh, Reiner Filmic is working in America. We are doing in Ireland notice of liabilities, looking at the debt certs in Ireland, and then we think that Germany could lead the world in this pushback for the masks. So it is my great pleasure as president of the World Freedom Alliance uh, and with Martin and Fiona and others here on the team to support this German very high profile, very sophisticated and thought through legal initiative against the masks. And the reason why we're doing it is there, the masks are causing more harm than good to everyone, but including the children. There is no requirement for it and it needs to be stopped. This is really a medical emergency. It's quite urgent and we're very happy to be here. And I'm here as president of the World Freedom Alliance supporting this initiative in Germany. I'm also legal counsel for the World Doctors Alliance and the World Freedom Alliance. It's a pleasure to be invited here today to to Germany and to Frankfurt, and uh, there's a very interesting and uh, historic uh, um, initiative started today, and uh, there will be great news uh, throughout the world, I'm sure, on foot of uh, what, what is happening here in Germany, especially in relation to the mask mandates. I became aware of the issues surrounding human rights uh, at the beginning of this year, and I became gravely concerned about the watering down the gross restrictions and limitations on freedom, uh, freedom of movement, freedom, uh, right to bodily integrity, and so many other uh, fundamental rights that we all have as human beings. And I've heard a Supreme Court judge, a former Supreme Court judge in the United Kingdom, uh, make note of the situation um, in no uncertain terms that this is a, a slide, a, a hysterical slide into a police state and calling this the greatest infringement on civil liberties in human history. So this is something I think everyone ought to be concerned about and to pay attention to and to resist as far as is possible. Many people are saying that the restrictions and impositions and infringements on our civil rights and liberties are disproportionate to the threat posed by COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Um, there are many of the measures that have been implemented uh, ha have been criticized strongly or even admonished by experts worldwide. And in particular, masks, the mask mandates are uh, strongly criticized by many professionals throughout the world. I have been liaising with lawyers from all over the world, from South America to Canada to the United States, Spain, Germany, uh, all across Europe. Uh, in relation to these issues that arise in, in the legal context. I've also been liaising and listening to and interviewing scientists from all over the world, together with the World Doctors Alliance and the World Freedom Alliance, including most recently uh, medical experts and doctors from Russia. There are many concerns being voiced by these experts that are suppressed, and this is a direct violation of the citizen's right to freedom of expression, the right to receive information. What many people do not realize or understand 
Is it the right to freedom of expression, which is guaranteed under the European Convention on Human Rights, Article 10 thereof, is we have a right to impart information, to express or to give out information, but we also have a right to receive information. And that right has been severely restricted and trespassed upon by governments, by mainstream media, and other actors such as big data, big tech, and so on. This is completely unacceptable in a dem democratic society, and people need to pay attention to this and become aware of it. I, I have also grave concerns in relation to the mask mandates, particularly in relation to school children. I have listened to and interviewed medical experts from, from many countries, and they have voiced ex uh, very grave concern in relation to mask mandates. And uh, this is an issue that needs to be addressed urgently. And I'm delighted to see that this issue is being addressed here in Germany today. Uh, I would also like to point out that employers uh, ought to pay attention to this uh, issue as well, because in the workplace where employees are put at risk uh, by being forced to wear these masks, that could have potential uh, devastating implications for employers especially in relation to um, issues where an employee uh, uh, suffers harm on foot of being forced to wear a mask. So these are issues that need to be addressed for the benefit of all, firstly and foremost, in relation to the safety of children at school, secondly, in relation to employees at work, thirdly, in relation to the uh, general members of the public, and fourthly, in relation to employers, because they're potentially exposed to liability and risk, which could have enormous implications for their insurance. Also, I would like to point out the risks and potential liabilities in relation to school boards of management, principals, and others who are involved and who have responsibilities for ensuring the health and well-being of children. So these are issues that need to be addressed urgently for the benefit of all.